It's a male golden eagle, about six years old. He was trapped out of Wyoming. He was a um, he was in an area that was a uh, called a depredation area, which is means that it, there's eagles are a problem, killing livestock, mainly sheep or lambs. And uh, Wyoming is the only state in the nation that allows you to do any trapping, but it it takes quite a bit of paperwork to be allowed to trap these eagles and to uh, use them for falconry purposes. You can't use any other eagles from the United States unless they come from a depredation area. How much does this bird weigh? Probably about eight pounds today, but I fly him around seven pounds. What is his uh, normal diet? Normally he'll eat um, um, jackrabbits, cottontails, anything that he can catch. They are quite capable of taking fox and also um, the females can probably take a coyote, full-grown coyote. That's about the largest animal I can s capture? Basically, yeah, for falconry purposes. Yeah. So where is the power in this bird for the kill? In his feet. His feet? His talons? Yeah, his talons. He's got quite a bit of pressure. When they catch their game, they lock onto the prey and there's like a locking mechanism in their leg and they just, they will not let go. They've got a tremendous amount of pressure in there and they're digging their talons into the, uh, the, the prey. What kind of uh, specifications are in the talons? Have you ever heard of any uh, testing done or anything to see how much pressure or uh, pounds per square inch they can... Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff floating around, but I, I think that uh, I've heard that there's 4,000 pounds worth of pressure right at the very tips of the talons. About 500 pounds worth of pressure in the, the, the foot itself. So... Wow. I've never done any measuring myself personally, you know, but I have been grabbed by the eagle a couple of times. Without the glove? Without the glove. How's that feel? Very painful. <laughs> yeah. And you can't get him off once he locks on. He's, he, it's almost impossible to get him off until he relaxes a little bit. As you can see, he's no danger. Uh, he's, he's a passage bird. He was trapped out of the wild, so he already had a fear of man. If I, me if I move towards him, he will move away from me. He will never try to attack me unless I've got him cornered where he can't, he has no other alternative. Right. So he's not, he's not aggressive towards you. He's defensive in, for his safety and his, his personal right. space. Right. But you still have to be very careful when you're working with these guys. These guys can, they can hurt you. Nice. He's got just about a six foot wingspan, five and a half, six foot, somewhere in there. Uh, the females, obviously, they're bigger. They're one-third larger than the males, so they have a bigger wingspan. Any chance we can see that wingspan? Can you get it to spread a little bit? I'll see if we can do that. Okay. <laughs> He's a fat bird right now, so when they're fat, they don't want to be handled. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. Let me zoom out. You have to be very careful with these guys, especially when they're fat. They don't want to be handled. We're going to let you see his wingspan, if he'll do it. Sometimes he will, sometimes he won't. You ready? Right. Yeah, go ahead. There you go. One thing the, the handler has to be careful of, as you can see, his wings, were they're long enough to where they'll slap me in the face. So you got to kind of turn your head away. Now we'll just let him relax, and he'll probably go right back to the perch. Very nice. He's been handled quite a bit. He's been around a lot of people, especially a lot of kids. They're excellent flyers, great soars. <clears throat> they like to go up on a how thermal. High they, how high do they fly, by the way? They can go probably, probably 10, 15,000 feet. That's not normal for them, but uh, they're quite capable of doing that.
he hasn't been handled very much lately, so he's uh, he's a little on the wild side right now. Gotcha. You can see the big knot on his chest right here. This little knot right here. That's the food he ate this morning. They have a crop. They store their food right here. And then they will slowly put it over into their di digestive tract. So when they're not hunting, you're feeding them by hand or, or throwing food in here for them that you're preparing basically from their last kill or a, a fresh kill? Yeah, that's, a, that's right. And what they'll do is they'll eat enough. Like I said, you'll see it right here. And sometimes they can go three or four days without eating again, depending what they've eaten. Gotcha. Sometimes they, they'll, it'll look like they swallowed a baseball. It'll be way out here. Sometimes they eat so much that they can't even fly. They can't get off the ground because of the ad additional weight that they put into their system. What do they then? They, do they hide? or? Well, they don't, they don't really have any predators that they're concerned about in the wild except for man. Ah. Nothing else messes with the golden eagle. Coyotes won't mess with them. Um, nothing else will mess with them. Their biggest concern is man. As you can see, he's been handled quite a bit. It's just that he's a little on the fat side right now and uh, he's not ready to be flown. In order to fly him and use him in falconry, I'll have to reduce his weight again. Their lifespan in the wild can go anywhere from one year to 20 years. It's pretty rare for him to live 20 years, but there are cases where it has happened. Uh, usually in the wild, you know, either diseases or cars or trucks or whatever they're killed about 75 percent of the young die in the first year that's not very good stats no it's not but uh, they've managed to survive and do well on their own but they're, they're subject to diseases too sure this one has already had one disease that if he were in the wild, it would have killed him. But because he was in captivity, we were able to take him to the vet, do some surgery on him, and bring him back. And he's doing fine now. Good. As you can see, he's got his mouth open. They do that because they don't have the ability to sweat like we do. Okay. And they pant like a dog. Really? Right. And when he gets a little excited, he'll have his mouth open. And uh, what's his name, by the way? His name is Zoltar. Zoltar. And where did you get that name from? I got it from the movie Big with Tom Hanks. Zoltar the Mag Magnificent was the machine that made Tom Hanks big. Awesome. Made him an adult. And then brought him back to being a kid again. I thought that was a great name for an eagle. Very cool. Well, thanks for showing me that, Dad. Sure.